Yeah, so uh, today we again are going to discuss uh, one problem came in probability in uh, 1985 and IITG, basically based on total probability and kind of a conditional also, but very interesting and most of the book solution is given ambiguous. So I am going to discuss as much as possible in the first side to understand it. So need to understand the question. A lot contains 20 articles uh, say, and the probability that the lot uh, contains exactly two defective is 0.4 and uh, the lot contains three defective is 0.6. So what I am trying to say, suppose if there are 10 lots are there or 10 defective are bags are there, something like this. Suppose, I am not telling 10 are there. Out of 10, 4 bags will be there, which will have 2 defective, and another 6 bags will be there, which will have 3 defective. But the probability, but I just took as number 10. So, for your understanding, so basically the probability of 2 defective is given 0.4 and uh, 3 defective is 0.6. This means if you randomly choose a bag, the bag may contain a 2 defective or a 3 defective articles. And total there are 20 articles are there. Now what you do, you choose uh, the articles one by one at random and without replacement. Without replacement means you are not keeping it back. Okay. And, and uh, test it till all the defective are found. One by one you are choosing. So <coughs> when you choose one by one, uh, maybe all the two defective may come uh, in the first two draw or maybe in the first and third or maybe in the second and third like that you know there may be many chances but we need to find out the probability that the testing procedure ends at 12 testing so testing procedure means when it, suppose if the back contains two defective so this means the last defective what you are going to test should come at the 12th draw and uh, the, the, the defective before that can come in first 11th any of the draw. So hope you understand. Suppose one of the defective can come in the, suppose if I read 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12. And I, I, I chose a bag and suppose the uh, bag contains, suppose it's a probability, but suppose the bag contains two defective. So the defective can be in the first position and defective can be in the or second or last third or last, something like that or all. So this is a very very interesting thing. So and if the bag contains three defective, then first two defective can come anywhere in the eleventh position and rest will be in the, the last one should come in the twelfth. So normally it comes to everyone's mind that say a kind of a total probability, so here is 0.5 and 0.6 and then we will find out of having two defective and three defective. I am also going to do the problem in that way and at last we are going to discuss uh, where, where, uh, uh, what are the things we need to take care to make the answer correctly. So uh, say I chose two defective, so the probability of choosing a bag which is having two defective is 0.4. That's very simple. So I'm going to write 0.4. So if you want me to write, I'll write like this probability of choosing two defective. Point four into. Now what happens in that? You got 20 articles out there, and the last, uh, you know, and, and in the 12th draw, the last should be a defective, and first. Anyone should be, uh, one of them will be defective. So you are choosing, there are two defective ones there. So you choose 2, C, 1. That's it. And uh, remaining, you got 18 non defective ones there. So you choose 18, C, 12, divided by 20, C, 11. So uh, you may ask me why I wrote 2, C, 1, and anyway, it's, it's, it's a, a detailed one because. Uh, you need to understand in details, one by one with replacement also can be represented by 2C1 into 18C10 
And if anyone is interested to uh, understand uh, this this particular thing, 2C1 into 18C10 uh, uh, in a detailed way, you can message us, we will explain in a detailed way. So this is basically a probability of choosing, uh, you know, uh, the defective one, two defective, and the first one of the defective comes in the first of the 11 cases. So I choose one defective and 8C10 randomly you can choose it. And so now we are talking about the 12th drop. You, you have one defective remaining and the total number are remaining are 9. So 12 to 20 there are 9 total articles are there. And in that one of them is defective. So you break 1 by 9. So this way we are here. That's what you learn either in a, in a school book. This way to do it. And here you mention this probability. Similarly, I just mentioned probability of three defective. I'm not writing in details. Generally, probability is one of the toughest thing. Comes in IIT. Students generally tend to leave it. But I suggest that if you can attempt those problems, you always uh, tend to increase your marks. And one beautiful thing is that it doesn't require too many formulas and stuffs to remember. This is just common sense. Anyway, coming back to the problem. Now, probability of a bat choosing three defective. So, which comes to our brain as first thing is that, you know, uh, three defective is given 0.6 okay, into, now the same story comes repeated. Any of the, I'm just going to write, any of the two will be defective in the first three and the twelfth one will be the third defective. So out of three defective, we are choosing three C2, which occupies any two places. And there are 17, so 17 C9. Others will be non-defective. Hope you understand 17 non-defective and three defective out of three. As I told you earlier, if, if you don't understand how uh, am I writing, uh, I am writing one by one without replacement in terms of C, you can just uh, message in the inbox. We will send you the detailed solution. We'll Divided by the same story 20 C11 because you are choosing 11 things. So uh, now we talk about the 11, uh, the 12, 12 defective, the last one to be defective. So to have the last one to be defective, correct, sorry, uh, the last one to be defective, again you, you have remaining one defective and total number of articles are 9, so that's it's 1 by 9. So according to our this one, answer should be either this or this. So, so probability of uh, finding the probability that the testing procedure, that's very important to understand. The testing procedure ends at the 12 testing. So I will write in shorter way, procedure ends at 12 testing. So we tend to write the answer as either this or this, this means addition of this 0.4 into 2C1 into 18C10 divided by 20C11 into 1 by 9 plus uh, 0.6 into 3C2 into 17C94 divided by 20C11 into 1 by 9. Now, let us understand the, the story behind it. Kind of what exactly, why most of the book, the answer is given this, but I feel it's my way to think that answer cannot be this. The reason is that think on your own once, uh, you know, beyond mathematics, beyond probability, that basically your testing procedure should end up while testing. Now you randomly chose a bag, you don't know whether it contains two defective or three defective. I repeat my statement. When you choose a bag, you randomly choosing the bag. You don't know either it contains two defective or three defective. So, and for this particular case, you are assuming that it contains two defective and the testing procedure, you get two defectives in the 12th drop. It doesn't satisfy your, your uh, you don't get satisfied saying uh, that the testing procedure uh, you know ends at 12 testing. I repeat my statement. Suppose you get uh, 
two two defective one from the first draw to the eleventh draw, another one on the twelfth draw. So if you get two defective, you are not sure. You are not sure that you will get, you know, uh, that your your testing procedure ends or not. The reason is that there is another, uh, you know, statement. There is another thing that there are some bags which contain three defective. So when you are choosing, uh, you know, when you are testing, you will always try to find the third one. So the probability uh, for this particular case will be zero. And only the left out will be 0.6 into 3C2 into 17C9 divided by 20C11 